Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am here at Manchester Airport. In fact, this is the third time I've been here this year. It's absolutely mental. I can't believe it. I'm a bit of a jet setter. But anyway, look at this behind me. Massive screen there, look. Isn't it all fancy? Jet, jet 2 is who I'm going to be flying with today. And this is Terminal 2 at Manchester Airport. And I'm heading off to sunny Tenerife. Yes, I'm going to sunny Tenerife. And it's not really a holiday as such. It's more of a... Well, I'm actually going to be doing some astronomy out there, yeah, stargazing, because I don't know if you know, but I'm a bit of a stargazer. I've got another channel called Starman, which I started two and a half years before this one. So if you like astronomy and you want to get into it, you might want to follow my other channel, Starman, because that's what I'm heading to Tenerife to do. And the main reason for it is that uh, in December, uh, there's a Geminid meteor shower. Uh, they call it the Geminid meteor shower. So it's where you see like loads of shooting stars all over the sky. I've been before a few times and it's really, really good. And that's the main reason for me going. I'm going to be heading up that uh, Mount Mount Tide. It's 6,000 odd feet above sea level. It's going to be absolutely, hopefully, clear skies. It usually is. And uh, it's a bit better than being back at home because you know back at home the weather in the winter is not very good, is it? So that's why I'm heading to Tenerife. I'm heading there for five nights, so if you stick with me in this video, we might see a little bit of the yeah. But in fact, duty free here is off the scale. I just come through duty free over there, and the amount of stuff that they've got for sale, perfumes and oh, all sorts of stuff, and and alcohol. Uh, they actually, actually had a bar there where they were doing like shots of uh, Jack Daniels. Can you believe it? And there's music play. It's like being in a disco, honestly. Uh, but there. There you go, that's, uh, that's the way airports are now, isn't it? Anyway, um, I'll be getting on the plane at about half nine, so it's still about two hours before the flight. I'm hearing plenty of time, and if you stick with me, you'll get to see a little bit of Tenerife when they get to the other side, and the hotel that I'm staying at as well. It's a little bit different, it's not in one of the resorts. We'll find out later. Okay, so I am on the 9.35 Jet 2 to Tenerife South. That's all going on here at Manchester Airport. And by the way, I ended up getting strip searched again, didn't I, security. I did everything I could to make sure that nothing came up on the, on the X-ray. But guess what? I left my belt on, didn't I? So they had to search me, didn't they? <laughs> Happens every time. Oh, well, I've just found a quiet place to sit and wait until the gate opens. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to be sitting on the plane, so I don't know if I've got a window seat or not, but I'll see what I can do. But, uh, yeah, um, I'll show you a little bit of Tenerife when I get there. Like I say, I'm not staying in a resort. I'm staying sort of halfway up the mountain because I want to be close to where I need to be to do this astronomy because I'm going to be driving up the mountain, aren't I? So I'm staying somewhere up the mountain, but you'll find out later. Okay, we've just been given the gate number, which is D6, and that happens to be quite a long way from where I was. Typical, that, isn't it? I think I know who he is. Not sure about some of these other ones. So I'm now at the gate and it looks like this is going to be our ride to Tenerife. I've just noticed that they've actually got a a proper footbridge uh, going to the plane. I'm not used to seeing that on budget airlines. Uh, do they have first class and second class on Jet 2? I don't know. Uh, I'll probably be going up those steps at the back, won't I? Because I'll be cattle class. OK, we're getting on the plane now and I have got a window seat. I should have checked the ticket, shouldn't I? Yeah, window seat. <laughs>
We're sure you can't wait to enjoy your holiday, but for now, you must stay seated and buckled up until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. When you do get up to go, please make sure you've got your phone, passport, keys and all other valuables. Anything left behind will be handed to our ground team here. Right, well I'm here and by the way, what an epic sight that was coming into Tenerife and seeing Mount Tide there sticking up out of the cloud. I never get tired of seeing that, it's absolutely awesome isn't it? Well, I've just uh, been to the high desk for the car because I'm picking up a car. Uh, the place is record, record go, so I've just picked a car up there. Um, actually, um, immigration was a, a nightmare. They had these newfangled machines where you had to scan your face and everything and not half of them weren't working. I think they just installed them. It took ages to get through, but uh, I'm through and it's time to go out and get my car and head to the hotel, I think. Okay, so here we go, out. Oh, oh it's a bit cloudy. It's nice and warm though. I've arrived in Tenerife. A bit windy as well. Tell you what, it's busy here at TFS, Tenerife South Airport. When I first came here to Tenerife, I think it was uh, 2010, and I thought it was going to be nice and relaxing. Oh, it's bound to be nice and relaxing on the road. You know, here in Tenerife, and it's not, you know, they drive like absolute nutcases here, I'm telling you. Tell you what, I'm having a bit of a job finding the, uh, the hire car at this rate. Crawling all over the place around here looking for it. Uh, I think it's on that sign there, record go. Must be up there, is it? Absolute nightmare. And this place I'm hiring from is right at the very end, just up here. My goodness. Well, I've got my car and I don't even know what brand it is. What is it, Chinese or something? I thought I was going to get that Puma there next door, but I've got this one. It's a Doctor. Never even heard of it before. Let's have a look round the back, shall we? Ah, oh, my goodness, what a carry on it was trying to find this. Look at that, Doctor. Weird. I'll tell you what I'll probably do. I'll probably head into town and get myself something to eat from. Uh, I got a Mac on a Mackey D's run. What do you reckon? I don't know if they've got much up there where I'm going. I'm staying in a town called Villa Flor, and it's about it's halfway up the mountain. So uh, I'll, I might just uh, take a chance and get myself something to eat while I'm here, uh, down here. Right, okay, here we go. Another car to get used to. <laughs> My goodness. Well, the first thing I need to do is put the seat back, if I can. Oh, come on, right back, all the way back. Right, that's it. Now I need to set the mirrors up. Do I need to put the key in? Uh, probably not, if it's anything like in America. Uh, right, how do I start the thing? Uh, right, I think we're ready to go, I think. Is it going to start when I press that now? Or do I need to put the clutch down? Ah, it's starting now. Handbrakes. <laughs> yeah, it would help if you let go of the handbrake, uh, Stephen. Here we go. We're moving, we're moving. Oh, okay, let's find my way out of here now. Oh my goodness. Oh the hell, I was right at the back there, you know. Now I'm trying to find my way out. My goodness, what a carry on. I'll tell you what, like I said before, it is not relaxing driving in Tenerife, especially when you're at rush hour. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, I found a Burger King. Let's get to it. My goodness, what an absolute nightmare. I tell you what, if you're coming to Tenerife, skip the first town you come to after you leave the airport. This place here is a bloody nightmare. But anyway, I found the Burger King. We're going to head in there now and get something to eat. And then I'll probably head up to the hotel. So I've got stuck in a really bad jam in this town, not far from the airport, but uh, I'm close to the way out. Right, I made it and what a journey that was. Not the plane, driving up here. Absolute nightmare getting stuck in that town. But anyway, once I got onto the road, the main road, I was all right, but we're very high up. This is a hotel. I'm just in the lobby here, just waiting to check in. And uh, yeah, I, I won't bother showing you the hotel. I'll do that. I might do that in another video. I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to crash out now because I'm absolutely knackered after all that. Oh my goodness. Here's a little look at the front. It's a Hotel El Tejar. Fill the floor, it's got very good reviews and uh, 
We might have a bit of a view over there. Wow. I'll tell you what, it's proper hilly here. I had to rev the... I was going to say, I had to rev the bees off the car to get it up here. I was in second gear most of the way. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there now. That was my little trip to Tenerife. I might do some more videos here. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to get my suitcase out of the car. I still don't know what the brand this car is. Doctor. I don't know. A bit underpowered as well, to be honest. But anyway, it got me up here. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.